Oh damn girl, using that water cream? Oh, she got money. Darcy. Hey guys, what's up? It's your favorite bald-headed beach. Back at it again with another video. So I was browsing the internet as I normally do, and I came across this video on the Vogue channel called Madeline Petch Reveals Her 38 Step Beauty Routine. 38 steps. That's more steps than I walk in a day, Madeline. But Madeline Petch is an incredibly beautiful woman. So I decided that I wanted to try following these steps so that maybe I could become as symmetrical as her. If you guys don't know who Madeleine Petch is, she is an actress on Riverdale. She plays Cheryl Blossom. Now, I used to watch Riverdale, but it started getting real weird. So we had to, we had to stop. We had to stop. But regardless, she seems like a very sweet, wonderful person. So I'm gonna see what these 38 steps are all about. Okay, so here we go. Riverdale's Madeleine Petch reveals her 38 step beauty routine. Hi, I'm Madeleine Petch. You may know me from CW's Riverdale as Cheryl Blossom, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my beauty secrets for a day full of meetings. Look how beautiful this girl is. Ah, ah, chef's kiss. So this is a little weird, but I always travel with a candle. I just feel like it makes me feel like I'm more at home. I'm in hotels a lot of my life. But we're gonna light this baby up. Okay, so step one is light a candle. We gonna be smelling like a Georgia peach, honey. So first one is this really cool little like ice ball thing. I put it in an ice bucket today, but I usually keep it in my freezer and it just kind of depuffs my face. Okay, so the second thing that she's doing is taking an ice ball face massager and just massaging it all over her face. Now, unfortunately, I don't have this ice ball face massager and I have no idea where to get this from. Is this something only rich people have? So I might just have to skip this step, guys. If you don't have one of these at home, I just recommend sticking your face in an ice bucket for 20 seconds. If you don't have one of these at home, I just recommend sticking your face in an ice bucket for 20 seconds. I know what I must do. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> my face is burning. Okay, step three. When your cheeks are sufficiently frozen, this step is complete. Next, I have my elderberry soothing toner from Renee Rouleau. Okay, so now that our face is perfectly frozen, we're gonna put on our toner. I use this all the time. It's soothing and my skin gets very red, as you can see, so this is really nice. I have this cute little tool from Sisley that I use for under my eyes and this cream. The large majority of my check-in suitcase was just beauty tools. Okay, so now we're putting on eye cream and we're basically like rolling it onto our face. I don't have this special rich people tool, whatever she's using. So we're gonna be using a jade roller. I got this for like $10. Oh yeah. You guys feel that? Feels like a bargain. Next I go in with my vitamin C serum, and I said vitamin because I get made fun of for saying vitamin on set, which is fun. Next we're going in with our vitamin C serum. Just kidding, it's vitamin. Little drops of this bad boy. Being on the show, I mean, people touch your face 24 seven. It's really hard to not break out. However, I've started doing my own makeup on the show, and that's really changed my skin. Next step, and most important step, is sunscreen. Yes, Madeline, wear your sunscreen, girl. Protect that porcelain face. We love to see it. That was a lot. SPF is super important, guys. I usually put my SPF on last, so this is kind of weird for me, but okay. Whatever you say, Madeline, girl, whatever you say. <laughs> it's your routine, I'm just following it. This is a little bit of moisturizer. I just got a little pea size amount right there. Now we're just gonna put a little pea size amount of moisturizer. This is the water cream from Tatcha. I love it. Oh, damn, girl. You using that water cream? Oh, she got money. Don't forget your neck. I forgot my neck. Don't forget your neck. It's such an important part. This is the New Face. I think it's called the New Face Pro. And it's like two little prongs. If you see, they go right over my cheekbone. And it kind of just sculpts. I mean, even you can see here how that line is there, but it's not on this side. Just from those three times I've done it. Do y'all know how much this new face device costs? If you want the full size device and the toning gel, it's $400. If you want a new face, it's gonna cost you $400, sweetie. So 
some of us are poor, okay? And if you want the Trinity all in one set, it's $760. But don't worry, it's on sale right now for $600 and a $777 value. The device only has seven reviews because only seven people could afford it. So unfortunately, I'm not a successful millionaire actress, so I'm just gonna use my jade roller again and just, just massage my face. <laughs> If I don't have face cream on, it shocks my face. So it's highly important to have your face cream on. Come on, cheekbones. Come on, cheekbones. Where are you, cheekbones? Why can't I find you? Why have you gone away? Let's get to the lips. I love this little, it's like a really cute, this little lip scrubber thing. And then you just kind of scrub it dubbed up. Next, she's exfoliating her lips, and I don't have one of those cool lip exfoliator things, so I'm gonna be using a paper towel. Works just as well, I swear. Now, I have so many different lip masks, but I always put a lip mask on afterwards just for a little bit. Now that my lips are no longer crusty, we have to put on our lip mask. I'm just gonna be taking this lip treatment and putting it on my lips. I do two eye creams. Well, it looks like we're putting on another eye cream. This time without the roller. So we're gonna do a little primer now. Look at this tiny, adorable, cute little primer. Just a little bit. That's actually not a little bit. That's a lot, but I really like a lot. I'm gonna be taking the No Problem Primer from Touch and Soul. So season one, I lived with Miss Lily Reiner, who's Betty on the show, and I didn't know a lot about skincare back then, or else I guess I thought I did, but I didn't. And so she would extract my blackheads for me, and she taught me a lot about skincare in those moments, so very thankful to her. If I've learned anything from being on the show with so many amazing, strong, and powerful women, um, we all have such different skin that honestly, just do what works for you. No, I have a neck cream. I'm 25 and I have a neck cream. I do not have a neck cream. I think I'm in trouble. Is my neck okay? Be honest, guys. <laughs> Be honest. I'm just gonna take some more moisturizer and uh, put that on my neck. I'm just gonna roll it all in one more time because I don't wanna have a puppy face. <laughs> and we're rolling our face again. Now this is where it gets a little weird. I've really gotten into rose oil recently and this is what I wear for perfume. I love it, this is a small one. I also travel with this amazing essential oil roll-on that I got in Vancouver. This is the lotus scent and I will just put it on my temples and it just kind of calms me down. It feels so good. And then we'll do a little rose oil. This is potent. So I only put a little bit on. Uh, now I don't have rose oil, nor do I enjoy the smell of roses. But I do have this random citronella oil. So we're gonna use that. I take a probiotic every morning. Very good for your skin. Your gut health is the first thing that will make your skin break out. I don't have any probiotics, so I'm just gonna take an Advil. That's the same thing, right? An Advil a day keeps a doctor away. Just kidding, kids, don't do drugs. Let's get to makeup. Ah, finally we're getting to makeup. Eight minutes in. She's putting on some eyeliner. I feel like she does very natural makeup looks, so we're probably not gonna be doing a lot of makeup today. This is the Chanel. Khaki intense. Whoa, Chanel eyeliner. She got money. I just do it on the outside and I like to just get it on that. You know that place where you would typically put eyelashes, that kind of space between where your eyelashes and your eyelids start? Look at how red my face is. This is my life. Redheads, you get it. Yeah, I'm a redhead too. So relatable. I hope this isn't too much eyeliner. Neutrals world, so brown. Little shimmery. So now she's just putting on a brown shimmery eyeshadow. I'm just gonna go into my Morphe palette and use, I don't know, this one? This one? I don't know. One of the two. I actually used to be a competitive dancer for a really long time. Wow, I used to be a competitive dancer too. Twinsies. Madeline, I want to know how you just slapped on some unblended eyeshadow and you look perfect. I hate you. What the heck? We're just, we're just gonna go with it. We're just, we're just rolling with the punches. You all know this thing, eyelash curler. Next up is lashes. So we're gonna curl our lashes with this random eyelash curler that I have in my drawer. 
It's used so much that the name of it's rubbed off, actually, so I don't know what it is, but it's this thing. It's kind of like when you prime your skin. Just get your skin ready for whatever you're gonna do. So I feel like this gets my eyelashes ready for the day. And how are her eyelashes so long? My eyelashes are stubs. This is um, CC cream. It goes on kind of heavy, but it really shears out. I'm gonna take my Glossier tint, apply to my fingers. Oh my God, I never apply makeup with my fingers. Yeah, this is like essentially my foundation. And then I'll go with a little concealer. And it kind of just feels like another layer of moisturizer, which I love. Never forget the neck. Concealer. Now we're applying our concealer. I think the best tools that you have are right here, baby. You're bored of them. I use a dry beauty blender. I think it works way better. Okay, so we're gonna use a dry beauty blender. I'm not gonna lie and say I've never used a dry beauty blender before because I definitely have when I was too lazy to go wet it. And let me say it worked just fine, but I do prefer the wet beauty blender just because I feel like it makes the skin look a bit more natural. Oh yeah, here she is. The bad bitch has arisen. My first mascara. Now that my primer is dry on my lashes, I'm gonna go in. This is one of my tried and true mascaras. Okay, so now she's applying her mascara onto her abnormally long lashes that I'm extremely jealous of. And I'm just applying my mascara onto my little stubs. It's a lash comb, but it's curved. Do you see that? And she's using some sort of special curved lash comb that I guess like rich people use or something, but I'm just using a normal one. This one's from Morphe. I think I'm gonna go with a more peachy color today, a little bit. She's using a Glossier cloud paint. I can totally tell because I'm a Visco girl. I just think it's a nice way to do a natural sheen. Oh, and she's using a brush to apply. Okay. So I really focus up the apples in the cheeks and then I'll kind of blend it out a little bit around just so it looks nice and crisp. This is the holy grail. Yes, girl, I see you using that Laura Mercier. Nice little dip in there. contour but I will carve my cheekbone out with the powder and now we wait so I don't really do a lot to my hair which I think people get mad about for some reason we get mad because you don't do anything to your hair but it's still perfect I'll put in a little hair oil we're just gonna put a little bit of oil so we're just gonna go right onto this look at all that just wipe it right off And it kind of does like carve out my cheekbone a little bit in a natural way, especially for meetings. I don't want to have a ton of makeup on, even though I just baked my face, so I'm sure it looks like I have a lot on, but. Before I do anything else, my face feels cracked and dry. So we're gonna put in a little beauty mist. Homegirl is using the Chanel beauty mist again, sweetie. Some of us are poor. So I'm gonna be using the Morphe spray. Um, I just get a little bit of this. Right on my cheekbones. Gonna take a super white highlighter and apply that to the cheekbone. I really, I use this often on the red carpet. I don't use highlighter on the show often because it just reflects light. It's not good for TV shows and movies. It's really just good for photos. I'm gonna go back in with a little taupe for under my eye on a flat brush. And she's just applying a little bit of a taupey eyeshadow underneath, so we're just gonna do that to define the eye a little bit more. Brows and lips. Oh my god, we still haven't done eyebrows. I'm a redhead. Been my whole life. Natural. I'm black. Been black my whole life. Natural. Little brow. You're a little eyebrow. Little brow. You're a wee eyebrow. Little brow. This I've been using forever. It's the Pacifica Stunning Brows in Golden Brown. Redheads, this is the holy grail. Now I'm going to use my Glossier Boy Brow on top of that. Last, but certainly not least, is lips. Is that a Charlotte Tilbury lip pencil? Bougie. I'll put a little bit of this in the middle, just to bring like a plumpness to them. 
And really she's using all these like pink cherry lip colors because that is her natural lip color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play up my natural lip color because Madeline and I have very different lip colors. And if I try to put that on my lip, I'ma look crazy. So I'm just outlining my lips with some brown lip liner. For gloss, I'm taking the classic Fenty Gloss in the color Fenty Glow. And then I'm going to take the lip tint called New Nude from 3CE and apply that in the center. Thanks so much for watching. That's it for my makeup look for the day. See you soon. Hold on. Wait, wait one second. Why do I look like a supermodel? I literally look like I could be on the cover a Vogue right now. You know what this means, right? Now I have to do 38 steps every morning. I am very pleasantly surprised. I thought that this would be like weird or it wouldn't turn out great just because we look so different. Especially when she put on that one eyeshadow, I, I was, it was not looking good. But it all came together into one beautiful masterpiece. Of course, I had a perfect canvas to work on in the first place, so. <laughs> Oh my god, am I symmetrical now? Guys, I think I'm symmetrical. Yes. Sticking my face in that bowl of ice cold water was totally worth it. Now I have to do this every day. I can't stop. Vogue. 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 Sorry. <clears throat> I hope you guys liked this video. I personally feel like a million bucks. If you guys did like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And y'all know what to do next, okay? Y'all know I got all of these videos to watch, all right? So you guys can just keep on binging. Just grab your popcorn and start snake snacking. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be in like two seconds. I love ya so, 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 so much. Bye!